All right, hi there. This is Jeff. Um, today we're going to talk about comping. And comping is something that we do when mixing when we have a multi-mic recording or multiple takes of something that we want to um, then turn into one stem. So, for example, I have all of these tracks right here, which are different mics on a drum set. Some of them are room mics, some of them are close mics. Um, but the big thing is that I have multiple takes of each thing. Now, I'm not going to use all of these takes at the same time because it doesn't make sense to have that. It's just going to sound weird. So let's solo these uh, 451s real quick and just hear what that sounds like. So it's just a typical overhead drum recording. Um, now, there's a couple of takes here that are better than others. Like, for example, I have this take 13 of this drummer's take that I like better than take 5, but that doesn't go all the way to the end of the song. So I will have to comp that together with take 14. Now, in Logic, when you are working with take folders, it's relatively easy to adjust things. You go into the take folder itself, find the part of the take that you want to use, and then just move this slider. Now what that's going to do is it's going to crossfade between the takes. Now you want to find a point that makes sense because if you notice here, there is a bit of a crossfade that is applied. Now you want to make sure that that's not hitting in the middle of a transient or something because it will just sound off. Now if I start here, it sounds fine. Not the best take, but it sound, the, the transition is fine. For example, it sounds wrong because he didn't start the take at the exact right time. So I need to find just the right spot for that to happen. Now here's the big problem. I've done that with this left recording, but the right recording is now different. See I have the crossfade here on the right channel and the crossfade here on the left channel. Now how do we solve this problem? Well it's relatively easy. We use something called groups. We take all of our tracks that we want to uh, that we want to edit, make sure that the group window is open, which can be found under mix. So we create a group, a new one shows up, we'll name it drums. And then we have all these settings that we have to check. Um, that we can check. We're only going to select one of them. In this case, we're going to hit editing selection. So now if I go in to any of these and I say take this whole thing here. So now we're using all of take 13. If I then go down to take to the right channel, it's done the same edit. And if I go to the room mic, same edit, 414, same edit, and I can make this adjustment and you'll see it follows my edits on every track in the group. This will save you a lot of time when working on multi-mic drum recordings specifically, um, among other things. Anything really multi-miced, this is a huge benefit for. Um, well, I hope that was helpful. I hope this helps you when you're mixing. Take care.